What's up everyone? So I'm here to show you a quick and easy way to make Xbox Party Chat go through OBS. I know a lot of Xbox users have had trouble with this, and after hours of trial and error, I have finally found a way that actually works. So let's get into it. Alright, so to do this, you will obviously need OBS. Now I'm guessing you already have the software and are at least a little familiar with it if you're watching this specific video, so I'm not going to go too much in depth about its features. Now next, you actually need a separate Xbox account. Now this account does not need Xbox Live, so you do not have to pay for anything. Like I said, absolutely free. Now, to get your Xbox Party Chat to go through OBS, we have to channel the audio to your desktop speakers through the Xbox app. Now, I know many people have tried this and you have failed, but I have found some workarounds to it and a way to stop the echoing if that is happening to you. Lastly, you will need a pair of headphones that can connect to your desktop speakers or monitor, pretty much wherever you are getting your sound from. Alright, so like I said, the next step is going to be making a separate Xbox account. Now, this is the website to make a new Microsoft account. It's very simple to do. Um, the link is in the description below. Um, if you want to get there quickly, you can always just Google, you know, make a new Microsoft account, and you'll probably go to this same website. Now, like I said earlier, just simply make the account, then sign into the Xbox app on your computer with that account. You do not need Xbox Live, so you do not have to pay for anything. Once you do that and you go through all the steps and everything, like I said earlier, you will have to go to the you know, Xbox app right here and sign in with that new account you made. Um, I just named my microphone just because so it's easier for me to know, like this is the account I'm going to use my microphone with. Now, once you have finished, you know, this step, your screen should look something like this. So if I would go back right here, um, it's going to look, you know, whatever stuff you have going on, the home, games, achievements, all that good stuff with the account. And you're, you should have zero gamer score as well. Next thing you want to do is actually add your main account. So this is going to be the account that you, you know, you play your games on. So what you're going to do is you want to go up to this search bar right here and type in your gamer tag. And then once you're done, you want to press the magnifying glass right there and you should find it. Then all you do is just add a friend and you're good to go. So at this point, you should already have your microphone account on your Xbox app as well as your main account as a friend. Um, that's the easy part. So now what we have to do is play with OBS. So let's go to OBS and see what we can do. All right. So the biggest thing that you're going to need is the desktop audio right here. You need that enabled because that's how we're pretty much going to be getting the audio. If you do not have it enabled, just go to your settings, go to audio, and make sure the desktop audio device is not disabled. Um, you can just put default if you want. Now, it should show up on this list as well, um, right here, desktop audio. You do not need to play around with any of the settings. You are just going to confuse yourself more. All right, so now, at this stage, OBS is actually ready to take any desktop audio that comes through. So for example, if we just play a quick song, you can see it's capturing it right now. So now if I would pause it, you're going to see it go down. So that means OBS right now is capturing any desktop audio that comes through. So now all we have to do is from the Xbox app, we have to make our party chat audio go through that app and throughout our speakers on our monitor or, or um, external speakers as well. Once we have that, we are good to go. So now all we have to do is go back, either you can go into your Xbox app and create the um, party, or you can just go on your Xbox and do it. Um, so I'll just do it quickly on my Xbox, as I already have it ready to go. As you can see on my friends list, I have microphone. I'm going to invite to a party. It's gonna pop up on my desktop. I'm gonna press accept. Microphone join the party. Let's just make sure and we are good to go right here. So this is what it should look like on your Xbox dashboard. Now if I were to go back into the Xbox app, this is what it should look like. 
very similar. You can see right here, Ginger's party, there are two people in it. Now, at this point, you pretty much are good to go in a way. But one thing you want to make sure is go to your main account and make sure it is muted. If you do not, you will have a horrible echoing. Um, I know, I've, I've even seen it on Reddit, you know, a lot of people kind of get to the step and they don't know why it's echoing or it's not working. If you want the echoing to stop, either you might want to get a new headset or a microphone, um, but also just mute yourself. Because the people, they don't need to hear you through your desktop audio. Um, and when I talk about people, I'm talking about, you know, your, your teammates you're playing with. Now, if you're streaming, they're going to be hearing you from your external mic, so you're good to go. Your buddies you're playing with, they don't need to hear you from your external uh, mic. They just need to hear you from your headset. So just mute it, and you'll be good to go. So now, at this point, if I were to have, you know, a friend in this party, you would be able to hear them. Now, just... For the sake of you guys, um, I'm sorry, just proving it that it works, I'm going to unmute myself and it is going to start echoing a little bit um, because it's going to be picking up from my external mic and everything. So once I press unmute, hello? Hello? hello. Ooh, you can already hear it. You can already hear it. Ooh, ooh. As you can see, though, as you can see, though, it's going. It's going. Test, 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 test. All right, that is awful, right, so that I'm going to turn that off. But as you can see right there, it is working. Now, sometimes um, while I've been playing this, you know, I have noticed that um, if something's wrong with, like, the Xbox app, I've had to restart it sometimes. Uh, maybe, you know, it's it said it wasn't connected or something in the party, and I just had to restart it, and um, it's worked fine from there. Um, but personally for me, I've had no problems with this way at all. And like I said, you don't need to buy an, um, you know, like a Elgato chat link or anything like that. Um, this is simply from the Xbox app, as you can see, and as we've been doing. And like I said, it's absolutely free. Last but not least, I do want to show you guys a quick tip on how to make sure your audio isn't going to be echoing through your um, external microphone. Because what we see a lot is, you know, we have streamers that are, you know, streaming their stuff. Maybe their party chat is coming through their desktop audio, desktop speakers. But it's creating an echo effect because it's going to their external microphone that they're using to talk to, you know, um, the viewers. And you absolutely do not want that. Um, one way a lot of people try to do it is just by turning down, you know, the volume on the speakers. But that's not going to work because if you turn down the volume, you're going to turn down the volume of the party chat as well. So you want to make sure that is, you know, as high as you would want it to be. So the easiest solution, if you want to get around it, is just by plugging in some headphones. By plugging in some headphones to your speakers, you're actually channeling the audio, not externally, but internally through those um, headphone speakers. I usually kind of maybe wrap a towel around mine because I use like beat headphones and they can get kind of even loud even though they're you know normal headphones. Um, but when I just put a towel around it, it works out perfectly. Um, you know, the chat comes through, everyone's able to hear everyone. Um, I, I look over my streams, I look over my videos that I've done and um, you don't even notice that I'm actually doing it this way. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Um, I've put a lot of effort into it and I really wanted to kind of show you guys how I got Xbox Party Chat to finally work on OBS because believe me, I was trying for so long as well. Now, if you guys run into any problems with this, please comment below and ask any questions you might have. I will get back to you, um, you know, as soon as possible because believe me, I was in the same boat not long ago really trying to figure out a way around this without buying any external hardware. Um, so like I said, guys, um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys did like this video. I'll have more tutorial videos coming out with um, OBS as well in the future, as well as some great content too. I'm also going to put my Twitch channel in the description below. Please give me a follow. I am actually trying to get affiliate soon. I'm only at about like 35, 40 followers. Um, and I like to bring, you know, high energy gameplay and some fun into my streams. So yet again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.